Willow Court is a world-renowned paranormal hotspot with dark and violent history. Team Paranormal Australia jumped at the opportunity to investigate this impressive location. There's the nurses' quarters. Let's go this way. Nurses. Jeez. Upstairs or downstairs. I need to warm up first before I really come back in here. I do have uh, one chap that lives in here. Yep. Um, yeah, plus. Uh, you might even want to talk to him at some stage. I think yeah. it's. Um, I think the building's affected him, and um, you know he's taken on that. Uh, I wonder why. I can't even well, breathe in here. It's. I'm being strength. It's an interesting building. These are all um, claw marks that the girls didn't want to be in. Um, interestingly enough, we steam cleaned the paint off and that came up. Time to go. So I sort of need to get out of here for a bit. Sure, sure. The door to the surgery downstairs has a double layer on the door and had uh, bars on the window, so once you're in that room, you won't get any coming out. Thing is that, uh, you know, look, I was drawn here to restore the buildings, and uh, we, we're looking after the buildings and getting everything happening here again, but. Uh, <laughs> So many stories, and you know, there's just uh, it, it's it's a it's a plethora. It's, it's huge. I, I, I go in there every day, and I do what I have to do. Everyone, just come here for a second. Just come in close, everyone. So, now I just I'm going to uh, you know tell everyone a little story. 
No. All right, so tonight we're going to split up into three teams. We're going to have Adam and Ross are going to be looking after the base camp. Uh, Ads and myself will be going off and exploring the grounds. Dom's going to come with us too. And everyone else is with Steve. So Steve will let you guys know what he expects of you and where you want to go. Off you go, Steve. So my team, we're probably going to be, um, I think, probably down in the matrons' quarters a fair bit and uh, in the women's quarters on the other side, separate building. Um, they seem to be pretty much a hot spot for me. So we'll use um, <clears throat> Sam a bit to, to talk and, and, uh, and see what we come up with there. All right. Now, just one other thing too, guys. This place has a lot, well, a really bad reputation for people getting attacked almost. And we don't want to basically get ourselves injured or anything like that, so just be careful. It's a construction site, so there are things around that we could potentially hurt ourselves on. So we just need to be mindful and careful. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ed. Uh, we're actually currently in the front of the morgue. Um, I came here earlier with Steve. This is probably, for me, the most chilling place that I came into. Not only because it's a morgue, what I felt in this room was just unbelievable. So we're going to head straight into town and see what we can do. Let's do it. feel of unease. Um, just heading over to the other preparation room where Evan is. And obviously the preparation table, as you can see. Um, as it's just about to go into the room on his own. Is it just nausea or? I don't know, it's, I don't know whether it's the chemicals, I don't know whether it's, I just don't feel good at all man, like I just, my stomach's turning, I, I just, my eyes are watering, I just don't like that. I felt like I was going to be sick dude. Right. We've done our little stint in the, uh, the old morgue here, but uh, Ads is starting to feel really unwell, uh, very sort of nauseous, sick you know, almost like he's going to vomit kind of thing. So we're going to move on to another location and try our luck again. Whoa! F***ing hell! I just got... Oh, I'm taking those cans out. I don't want to listen to it. I just got... Through audio. And the signal was now flat inside, wasn't it? F***ing hell. Inside I had nothing, but I came out here and I just yeah. got... When I walked outside before, 
Um, that's when something touched my face before, early on. Yep. Something touched me on the face, right out here. And by the way, just so you know, uh, things have been seen outside here. Right. So this is not specifically just for indoors. Things happen everywhere here. All right, guys, so this is the uh, matron's quarter. And um, when I came through here early with Hayden, the owner, um, I sort of almost walked past the first door here. We'll go there in a second. Uh, but something dragged me back in there, and, um, and literally, Hayden just sort of had to leave. Um, and when I, when I went, walked into that room, I mean, it was cold. Alright, so look, my name is Steve, it's the matron here. I believe the matron lives here. She tends to push people around a bit. Do you mind us being here? Now, we don't want to disturb you, but um, we just need to know if you're uh, still in here. Do you hear that, there? Well, the way you're looking, I swear I heard like, a footstep behind us. Yeah, I don't know what I thought. I thought maybe I was just hearing outside. Yeah, that's what I thought. Then it sounded more like a step. Can you move towards me? Can you hear me? Can you move towards me? I heard the footsteps up here. Matron, you were here before. Come out. Come out and show yourself, please. Which room are you in? Is this your room?
kind himself. Oh. You're up, man. You want us all the way out? Yeah. Okay. Careful. Everything's there. Okay. So, uh, close to 10:30 now, and uh, Matt's is doing a an EVP session by himself in the um, the mates' quarters. But when we came outside to give him some space, we noticed too that uh, the audio recorder had uh, turned itself off. But I'm not sure why. It's got nearly full battery, if you can see that. And um, I mean, this isn't the first time it's happened either. When we've had uh, areas of activity before, has we have had unexplainable malfunctions with equipment and things like that. So this could just be another indication that there's something here. Can you walk down this hallway? A lot of people say that they've heard you. It's starting to believe that you're not really here. So if you can prove that to me that I'm wrong, then I'd love for you, please, anything, if you can just talk, make a sound, and do it in this little red light. Did you die here? If you're here, why can't you leave this place? Come on, talk to me. Surely pick up something, say something. Whoa, whoa, that was like an orb. Like it was slow and it actually just came out of this doorway and just went over and up. Can you do that for us again, please? Show us what you can do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting you to do that. Alright, let's head back to base camp, start charging and contemplate the next plan of attack. Alright, talk us through it, Steve. You crazy kid. Alright, so we're going back into the matron's quarter to try and bring out this matron and uh, slap us around a little bit. I hope. That's what she's supposed to do anyway. Well, okay, matron, we're back. Can you come out, please? Where are you? Which room are you in now? Do you walk up and down these hallways? Hey, hey. Oh, I saw it. Okay, I was asking questions. No, that's a difference when I did that. I'll just try again. What if, what if we sit a camera, just sit it there and we go outside and leave you? Great, just brilliant. No, no, do you think that'll help? <laughs> it'll help you, it might help me. Um, it will, but it's, I, I hate it. Yeah. Because when that happens, I know when something's right near me. Yeah. Um, Just, just put 
फिर क्या मैं नहीं हुई मेरे है This is just going crazy. This, I don't know if that's picking it up, but I think because this thing was going off, the trifilm wheel was going off straight outside the window here. Something's been outside here <laughs> looking at you.